Kushan started about five years ago. We started a competition, five chefs, five pigs, in a friendly competition for a cause. That cause from day one has always been about heritage breed pigs. I, th I think it's important to consume heritage breed pigs just because each one has its own unique qualities to them, you know, in terms of uh, a flavor and, you know, fat content, as opposed to these mass-produced pigs that are bred just to be bulky and, and, you know, produce, you know, large pork chops. What's interesting to me um, is that you, in order to save these breeds, in order to see, you have to eat them. It's kind of like this thing where the way to kind of keep these breeds um, actively being a part of the food conversation is that there has to be a demand in those restaurants. The heritage breed pig conversation, um, it was just this niche conversation that wasn't taking place between Berkshire or Kiribati. So you have an amazing group of chefs that were all just on the up and coming, doing amazing stuff in the kitchen, um, young, passionate, energy levels were high. Local sourcing became a conversation. People really cared about where their food was coming from, and there was there was an opportunity to, to, to bring it to the forefront. I give a chef seven to 10 days with a local farmer's pig of a different species. They have time to cook it. They come with all their creativity, their teams, their love, and they basically lay it out for 20 judges and 400 guests, and everyone gets to vote for their favorite bite of the day. That person has announced a winner. Amongst that, you have bourbon, you've got mezcal, you've got oysters, you've got cheese bar, you've got wines from all over the world. Everything is like ultra premium, hyper local. So you, you enjoy the experience because it's layered. From the moment that you walk into an event to the moment you leave, I know exactly what you're consuming. To make sure that it's the guest experience that's the most important. I think one of the best parts about Koshan is we always have a butcher demo, right? And it happens in the center of the floor. There's a pig from a local farmer and we basically showcase one pig head to toe where the butcher gets to like, you know, throw his steel out and really put like what he believes is his craft and his art into the form of cutting. Today we're going to be breaking down a Berkshire pig from Newman Farms it's in Myrtle, Missouri. I'm going to have an assistant with me, his name's Josh Galliano, a good friend of mine, um, and some culinary students from Cordon Bleu. And um, basically we're going to have a whole hog, we're going to split it, um, and break it down into primals, and then from there, break it down to retail cuts. I've, I've seen you have a PDF file that you basically are going to be sending out to these schools, and they can take Everything that you've laid out, it guides them through creating these pop-up butcher shops so they can then go and sell these products. I mean, you, you, be, you create a benefit on so many different levels kind of throughout that, that food chain in, you know, in the industry. Is that really kind of what you were going for? The idea was to, to take the idea of the pop-up butcher shop wrap it into a really tight little curriculum. The students then can look at this pop-up butcher shop PDF. They look at the Koshan 5 website. We can help source a pig. And then all they need is a butcher. They just walk into the butcher shop and they give them the little PDF and they say, hey, would you be able to do this with us? And he reads through it and he goes, for sure. Because all the butcher has to do is show up and the students have learned through the program how to get the pig there, danger zones, comfort levels with guests, conversations, how to make money, and every single detail is covered. For, for the students, I mean, it's, it's good to see that, you know, because it'll be a good way for them to see how to utilize the entire pig, you know, from, from start to finish, and, you know, how, how you can sell different parts of the pig, not just, like, the chops, you know, and, and you know, the things that everybody's really familiar with. You guys ready? Tonight's winner, Heritage Barbecue, St. Louis, goes to Kevin Nash of City Street Cafe. Well done. Everyone on this stage has blown it away because you believe. You want to give someone more decisions, and I think in our, in our industry of what we do every day, we are limited by the choices that surround us. Mm -hmm. And when you look at heritage breed animals, you've got great people who care about the preservation of a bloodline, and then they want to give it to a chef yeah. who cares about it as much as they did from start to finish, 
and then it ends up on somebody's plates. It's really a carriage of, you know, of love between, you know, little baby pig to, to the plate. <laughs>